Hello and welcome back to the channel, I'm Evan, and the Detroit Pistons are back in the headlines, so I'm bringing you this video to break it all down. With all that said, let's begin. Recent reports are indicating Luka Garza will earn a standard deal. He was on a two-way contract, which means he will only play around 40 regular season games. Now Garzilla has the green light for all 82. With the way he dominated in Summer League, it made the front office's job easy. Garza has earned a full roster spot, so I'm sure he will earn minutes this year. With Luka Garza getting a new deal, that opens up a slot for a two-way contract, so that leaves the Pistons with another decision to make. Only option I could see right now is Jamarco Pickett, as he showed consistency from three. Pickett is only on a preseason contract at the moment, the Pistons can actually wait and see if Jamarco can continue his hot shooting in preseason games, as other players will also be making their case. Pistons beat writer James Edwards believes Jeremy Grant will soon get a contract extension to stay in Detroit, and I have to agree with that statement. Grant is the best free agent signing we've had in years, a player that is elite on both sides of the floor. He is also a perfect fit for what the Pistons have constructed, but above all else, he wants to play for the Pistons and wants to be in Detroit. It is important to have players who want to be on your team. Jeremy Grant turned down money from the Denver Nuggets to come to the Pistons, so I will never have any doubt if he wants to be here. Other players on our team, I can't say the same. All it takes is a couple bad press conferences or a tweet and you have a Ben Simmons situation. This Benjamin saga has made me appreciate Grant even more and the idea that he's here long term. The Pistons released some new shots from a recent practice. We got a couple of Grant, who looks ready to go from gold medalist to all-star. Then we get our first look at Kelly Olenek in Pistons gear, and he looks like he belongs in Detroit already. Can't wait for him to be splashing threes this year. And uh, Trey Lyles was also there too. No, the Pistons are not interested in Jonathan Wall or Benjamin Simmons. They never were and never will be interested in those players. It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. Not this time. No. Not this time. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. Final topic I wanted to cover was Ben Wallace being inducted into the Hall of Fame. His speech was excellent and from the heart. You could tell he was genuine with it. He had some nice quotes in there about his legacy and uplifting kids. I also like his proud line. As a young kid, not having the ability to, to speak and express myself, but having a lot to say, for I was proud of myself. So check out his full speech if you haven't already, I have a link to it in the comments below. Now after the event, the Pistons released these cool photos, and it's all the great generation of Pistons players and coaches all meeting up. It was crazy to see them all in one room. You had Chauncey, Zeke, Rip, Sheed, Prince, K, Bay, and Stu all chatting it up. Two possibly iconic shots from this were Stu and Big Ben meeting up. Then we also got one of Chauncey and Cade. Listen, if you decide to get these framed, I don't blame you. Don't be surprised if you see these hanging up in a barbershop. And that wraps up this video. Grant and Garzilla look guaranteed to be in the Pistons long term plans. Speaking of plans, be sure to make some to hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos just like this one. That's it for me, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.